In this video, we're going to show you how to set up Ableton Live for use with Apollo Ensemble. So the first thing we're going to do in Ableton Live is go to the Options menu and select Preferences. We're going to click on the MIDI tab and then, under MIDI ports, turn Track and Remote on for the MIDI input from Loop B Internal MIDI. Now in the Ensemble Designer software, we're going to open up the Ensemble Device Monitor, that's in the Tools menu, and make sure that we've got Loop B selected as a MIDI alternate device. In this Ensemble Designer map, you can see that we've set up a number of Ableton control blocks to be driven by the various inputs from an Xbox controller. Okay, so let's now press play. Back in Ableton Live, we have to click this MIDI button and then select any parameter we want to alter in real time. Just move the physical controller you want to associate with this parameter and you'll see it appear in a list of MIDI mappings. Click on the MIDI button again and we can start using the sensor. Watch this fader change as we move the Xbox controller. Mm -hmm. 